everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Darnell and today is part two of using interference paints and a marble. I mixed my paints differently this time so we should get some different results. So I'm going to cover this painting that I don't like with um, Mars Black. It's from Liquitex. So let's get a good coat down. Should be fine. Let's get some of that spin out. Like I said, my base coat is Mars Black, and I mix that with a little pouring medium and a touch of GAC 800 and Floetrol. And then I am using the DecoArt Media Fluid Acrylics Interference Paints Gold, Violet, and Blue. I'm going to do a puddle pour and then run a marble through it. Find a place that don't have paint. <laughs> and get my marble. This is actually a steel ball. But they work fantastic for this because of the weight. All right, I'm gonna start pouring my puddles. I'm gonna start off with violet. So I mix my paints differently this time. I used a little bit of gel medium. And then did one part paint to three parts Floetrol. Yeah, we're just gonna, I want some black in between my colors. So I'm not gonna put them too close together. Oh, I can see the purple around the edges. It's gonna work. I talked to Christina Welch and she gave me some tips on fixing my problem. So let's see, let's do a little one here. We can do one here. add more puddles here in a minute but I'm gonna start off with this see that was the blue now this is the gold that one here Little smaller ones there. And then I want to go back in and see this one is blue. So go on here. I need to put something there, but I got to purple, to gold, and to blue. So just leave it. It's a little negative space on it. I don't think will look bad. Let's do another purple, violet one here. And then we're going to get the marble out. All right. I think that'll be good. here
Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, that's so beautiful. All right, so we're gonna run it down through there. Do this gold one more time. It's hard to control it. Yeah, like that. Okay. Can you see the colors? I bet the camera's not picking up on them yet. Oh. All right. Okay guys, the color is starting to really come in now. This is amazing. So I'm gonna let this dry. Actually, I am gonna, I'm gonna get my other camera and bring you down for a close up while it's wet. And then we'll look at the difference once it dries. But, uh, so adding the pearl medium sure did change the dynamics of it last time. The painting was beautiful, don't get me wrong, I did love it, but, uh, this is what I was going for. Okay, so we get uh, my other camera, I'll be right back. So it's dry, it is not varnished, and I am telling you, this is gorgeous! I just can't get over how these colors just pop. Oh, I love it. Came out really neat. I'm so glad I tried it again. 